We're live in London. Uh, London is calling one Delaney Walker to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Delaney, it's always so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You just flew in. Are you are you tired? I'm a little tired. I just flew in about an hour ago. Got up here for you, you know. So, and I we appreciate it so much. Thanks to everybody for watching. You are here for Titans Ravens this weekend. It's all super exciting. Last week I was at the Bills Jags game. I don't know if you caught any of it, but I thought those Bills were looking a little jet lagged. Gabe Davis told me they weren't, but they came in late in the week. Like you're feeling it. I can tell you're tired. You want a nap? But there's no way. Like, <laughs> doesn't that mess with your schedule? Are you glad the Titans are getting in today? Yeah, I think. Um the teams that get here first and get time to acclimate themselves to the weather, the field, the food, the surrounding, I think they play better because it is it is like being sluggish. You've been on a flight for eight hours, then you get here, you got to get back going, you got to rejuvenate yourself, and then get to a game. Yeah. You're behind, back home. Well, so the Ravens have been here longer, so are yeah, they going to yeah. win? How big of an advantage is that? I'm not, I'm not saying Delaney. anything. Hey, 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 I'm not saying anything. I'm not going to say anything. I, I, you know, I'm a Titans fan. Yeah. I love the Titans. But they ain't here yet. The Ravens are here. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I want the Titans to win. Yeah. Did you ever play in any international game? What was, like, the roughest, like, on your body as far as time zone vibes? Um, Nothing? Nothing, really. I yeah. feel like uh, when I was in San Francisco, we came on a Sunday. So we after we played Carolina, we flew that Sunday here, and we was here the whole week, and it felt great. Yeah, yeah. so we've got the Ravens, we've got the Titans. Um, Derrick Henry just won, just won 100-yard game this season. I know uh, you know. You're in with that. What's Rabe saying? How's he doing? I don't know, man. We're going to see. You know, they, they mixing it up a lot. But when Derrick gets uh, over 20 carries, we usually win. So we'll see what happens this week. Can we feed him the – so basically what you're saying is maybe give him the, the ball a little more. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to say that. I'm not the offensive <laughs> coordinator. and then Y'all doing a fine job out there. But, uh, you know, as statistics shows, when Derek runs the ball more than 20 times, the Titans will win the game. Um, so we'll see what happens this yeah. week. Is this a Limp Biscuit shirt that you're wearing? Right, let's talk, Limp, let's talk about this. Limp let's, go, let's go no further <laughs> than what you're wearing. Tell me about that. Limb Biscuit, one of you know, one of my favorite artists. I like retro clothes. I like throwback stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I thought I'll pull it out with the kicks. If y'all can see the kicks right there. Okay, I love it. <laughs> so it all goes together. Tell me about what you're doing. Um, obviously, you're here for the weekend. You're going to do some alumni events. I'm sure you're doing some community events too. Yeah, I'm. Um, so I'm here with the NFL Legends community. Uh, I'm a Legends coordinator. And uh, I've been ha I've been had the privilege privilege to go to the Super Bowl, go to the draft, go to the combine, and see behind the scenes. And then now I'm here, and I get to be a legend for this game, and I get to sign autographs, I get to meet the fans in London, uh, just really be out here and, and enjoy the time, but also be a legend for the Titans, and and still feel like I'm a part of the team. So uh, I love that uh, being a part of the NFL community and uh, still being able to do this stuff. Speaking of teams, Taylor Lewan's kind of on my team. He comes on my show every Monday. Yeah. You do a podcast with him, so you guys are former teammates, but you're still teammates now. Tell me all about it. Uh, man, you know, Taylor is my guy, always been my guy. On? What is that smile? <laughs> no, right away, when you say Taylor's my guy, and like this this thing happens, Taylor Lamont's yeah. a wild. He a wild dude. He's funny. Um, I don't know, man, him and Will together, they just, they just make stuff happen. And, uh, you know, when they reached out to me to, to be a part of another show that they had, Slips and Picks 500, go watch it, go check it out, comment, um, you know, I had to take it. I was like, man, y'all want me to be on the show? They like, yeah, we just think that you you vibe with our with us and the chemistry is there. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. It's been taking off. I'm excited to be a part of it. I had to show my face again, get back out there. You know, I've been hiding for a little bit, but I'm Why back have you been now. hiding? You, you know, you get old. You get, <laughs> you get old. What does that and, uh, mean? I just, you know, I was just trying to figure it out, see what I really wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, start working with the NFL, um, the Legends community first. And, you know, they was showing me a lot of stuff. I got to get back on the field and be around athletes. And, you know, I was like, you know what, it's time to go back out there and get my start talking more on the 
um, doing interviews, doing podcasts, and, you know, I'm able well, to do that is. now. Yeah. I love having you. This is amazing, and everything you're doing with the NFL Legends community, with Taylor Lewan, like, you know, finding your groove. You're calling yourself an old man. I don't know if I don't know how I, if I like that. I'm not really into that. But when you look at these this crop of tight ends right now, and they're superstars. Yes. Travis Kelsey, he might be dating Taylor George Swift. Kittle. All this, George yeah. Kittle's crushing it. Three touchdowns last week. What do you want them to know about just how precious these moments are as top tight ends in this league? Cherish it. You know, what I mean, cherish it. It ain't e- it ain't easy being good this long you know um our plan at a high level especially at that tight end position we take hits that a lot of other players don't take hits we go over the middle we take hits to the legs we take hits up high um so cherish it you know what i mean because um these are things that you you always gonna think about you always gonna say i wish i can do it again i wish i can do it again so cherish it now because you know when you sitting back and you watching these other guys doing it you be, you want to be back on the field so. who's popping off the tv for you as a tight end right now I mean, Travis Kelsey has just been doing his thing always. Um, George Kittle, you know, I always got to go with Chig. He played for the Titans. You know, I, I want to see them do more with him, especially with Josh uh, Well. Um, I think that, uh, you know, they, them two guys can be explosive. We just got to get them the ball and get their confidence level up a little bit more. So you like those guys. Would you ever consider coaching? Me coaching? Oh, man. No? I don't know. You know, coaching for me... It's tough. You know, players now are different nowadays. You know, when I came in, it was a little hard nose. You can you can cuss a player out and he can take it. Yeah. You know, it's a little I feel different. like y'all took more hits, too, at the tight end position. You're saying these, they, not every tight end takes uh, takes hits and has to block like you did, Delaney. No, I mean, the, the, the position is evolving a lot. Obviously, um, you know, they want guys who can catch the ball, who can run fast. Um, and then, you know, usually they'll, they'll draft a bigger guy to be the blocking tight end. Mm-hmm. So that's what you send. But, you know, if I was to say a great tight end should be able to do it all, you know, he should be able to block, catch, run, um, and just be explosive for his team because I believe a tight end is the blanket for a quarterback. That's very true. Yeah, of course, yeah. We have Gronk on our show every week, and he, of course, won seven or four Super Bowls um, with Tom Brady. You were you were my favorite tight end because you did do it all, and you did it on and off the field. And you're here in London. You're cheering on your Titans, of course. You've played at Wembley, I, not I with have. the Titans. Not, not with the Titans. But San with Francisco. the Niners. Yeah. Can we talk about it a little Let's bit? Do I think it. we Let's have some it. of this Let's footage here. Oh, man, you sure, had sure. back-to-back big yard catches. <laughs> what does that feel like? Do I think we have it in a soccer stadium? Talk me through some of these plays. I mean, it felt great to play in the Wembley. Like, man, I don't know. I was, I was, I was. When was this? What year? This was 2000. It was it? I think it was 2010. I think. 2010. We had tag in. It could have been 2010. I don't know. It doesn't say, but I think it. But I think it is. Tw- it's, it, it might be 2010, but keep going. That 46 just looked crazy, <laughs> but that, I made it. You know what I mean? I made the 46 look good, but I think it was 2010. We got here, like I said, on Sunday. I think they had got there on a Friday. The game was just really sluggish. The grass was a little slippery. You know, it's a soccer field. Mm-hmm. You try and play football on. It's just a little different. 2010 was correct. So, uh, but it was a great game. We went out there. We had a great time. We won the game. It's always a good thing when you win the game. Um, and I, I can't say more about it. It was just a good time coming out here and experiencing London and also being able to play football with all the fans. Crazy. And it seemed like they cheered for everything. So, and the Niners the are such an epic franchise and fan base. It's like, we, there were last week, there were no Niners here, but Debo jerseys were everywhere. Oh. Everyone was rocking the Kittle jersey. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Talk to me about this Niners team, undefeated. Do they have the special thing that might let them go all the way? I think so. You know, I, I don't, don't kill me, everybody. Don't kill me. Why? I want anybody to kill you. You know, the Titans fans, you know, they, they you know, I got to I gotta be honest right now. I feel like the 49ers may be the best team in the NFL at this moment. You know, we thought Dallas was going to be a team that was probably can hand them an L or be a contender against the 49ers, and they showed us different. They showed us that the Cowboys really wasn't on a level at that time, and the defense was so explosive against the Cowboys. They had so many takeaways, and then the, the offense and Brock Brody, oh, my God, they, they talked about how good could he be. We starting to see he can be great in this NFL, but all, all along, these guys got so many players on the team from offense to defense to special teams that they very explosive, and I think it's just going to be hard to beat them. What could 
could stop them. I mean, Debo wasn't 100% healthy, but he was out there as a decoy. They still got it done. I feel like one week it's Ayuk, then the next week it's Christian McCaffrey, who has a multiple touchdown game, then George Kittle, you know, following in you, Vernon Davis's footsteps as yeah, a prolific yeah. tight end in the Bay Area. Like, what could stop them? You know, that's, that's injuries. That's it. Injuries can stop them. And I, I don't want, I don't wish that on none of them because I want them to be successful. I want them to win the Super Bowl. That is my first team. And uh, I'm excited that they're having some success this year. And, and it's, it's beautiful to see. You mentioned Travis Kelsey. I don't know if he's playing tonight. It's Thursday night. It's Broncos, Kansas City. What? It's at Arrowhead. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I heard Taylor Swift coming. He playing. <laughs> <laughs> He, he playing. Uh, uh, Taylor Swift wouldn't be there if he wasn't playing, but I heard she coming. He practiced the other day. Okay. It's Travis Kelsey. Everyone. Is it smart to play? I mean, he's the whole offense. They lose him. They're no, they got nothing. I didn't say that. She did. Yeah. But <laughs> just I mean, to let everybody know. I'm just saying, like, this against the, wor the wor 31st ranked defense in the league, the Broncos, like, isn't this the game that maybe. Andy Reid says, maybe we get some confidence up with these other receivers, build some chemistry, do it without Travis. I'm just saying. But did you see the Lions game? <laughs> because but Taylor Swift <laughs> is going to be there. No, but no, did yeah, you yeah, see yeah. the Lions yes, game? Yes, yes, yes. Without Travis Kelsey, what does the Kansas City it's not Chiefs good. look like? I know, but don't they need to, like, figure that out? I mean, they're going to figure that out. You're not That's, nervous. No, this is the process of they now they see – they really don't have anybody outside of Travis Kelsey to make them big plays. So this is the year they're going to like, okay, we're going to go on the drawing board. We're going to get some so many veteran guys. We're going to drive some high receivers next yeah. year. So I don't know, man. I think if Travis don't play, they're going to win the game. Kansas City going to win the game. But If Travis doesn't play, Kansas City would win the game. Okay, that's, I mean, no, no, it's they, not they, a... If he don't play, they still going to win the game. So but... why should he play? What would be the case for him playing if they win without him out there? Good point. Taylor. Well, Taylor All coming. All roads lead back. <laughs> Taylor Swift. To Taylor Swift. Okay, Sunday, this is the early morning game. State side, it'll be in the afternoon here. What's the biggest key? Like, the, the Titans can pull off the win if what? If Derrick Henry has over 100 yards rushing. Wow. Listen, I think <laughs> I've talked to a lot of uh, NFL legends, alumni. There's a lot of give Derrick Henry the ball going on. Yeah, you. It, is he okay? He's got a toe. You talk to him? I, no, I, oh. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Like, don't put that on. Man, okay? no, 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 I didn't say any of that. But at the end of the day, I'm not really sure. You know, why the run game is not going. You know, we do have Spears. Spears is back there making plays, and he's exciting. I can see his future with the Titans as well with Derrick Henry with that one-two punch. Um, but, again, you know, if you can't get the passing game going, then the running game doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Hop looks better. Yeah. Oh, no. Hop was – he was balling this game. Mm -hmm. He went nuts. He helped my fantasy team out. Keep doing your thing, <laughs> D-Hop. Who's your fantasy quarterback? Oh, Patrick. Is it Patrick? You <laughs> took him the first round? I took him the first round. I'll never let nobody take Patrick. And I'm always, they be like, don't take the quarterback in the first round. I'm like, okay. That's, I'm the one that's always saying that, but you're doing well with him. Oh, yeah. Him and DeAndre. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I only lost one game so far. Well, and I'm in two leagues. <laughs> okay. One league, I'm like 0-4. I haven't won a game. It's terrible. That's the busting with the boys Got league. It. I think they cheat. Who's winning that league? Um, Spence, uh, Steven is, Steven is like our producer. Wow. <laughs> so he winning, he knows what he doing. You think he's cheating? Nah, he just, he just knows. I, I feel like he got a lot of time on his hand, okay. you know, cause he, wow. he can see, Shots fired. you know, he, nah, he making the trades. He need to make yeah. the trades, you know, he doing all the, the right things. Being a GM you know? is tough. Yeah. 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 You know, and I'm not. Sometimes I do, but then sometimes I don't. And then I got to depend on this player to be great. It's a good reason to take Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, if yeah. you want to be a lazy manager that sits back and doesn't want to do trades and stuff, Mahomes sounds like a, Mahomes to D-Hop sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, why trade Mahomes? I'm going to keep him. He's going to average 20 points t from 17 to 20 points yeah. every week, except on his bye week. But then I got Travis Lawrence sitting on the bench. So he averaging like 16 points sitting on my bench. That's not, you're really into fantasy football, Delaney. Oh, no, I no. love this for you. You are. This is cool. <laughs> and I used to hate it when I played. It's crazy. I, can't, I can imagine. Yeah, it's crazy because fans used to be like, you suck. You only got me zero points. I'm like, if I threw the ball to myself, yeah. I would get you way more points. So now are you just throwing the sh throwing like a shoe with the TV saying like, Andy Reid, let him oh, throw yeah, the ball. Yeah, you're 
you're mad. You're hot, hot. about it. I get it. Especially, yeah, I'm hot. Uh, like, well, I'm baby. sorry you're you're over and you're <laughs> busting with the boy league. That is not good at all. No. But you do have Slips and Picks 500 show. Everybody, um, take a you can watch it too or just listen to it. No, it's you can watch it. It's yeah. a podcast. It's on YouTube. Great. Um, go stream it, man. I, it's funny. It's me, Will, Will, and Taylor. Will Luan, and Taylor. And we just acting crazy. We giving you our our best bets. And, you know, I'm making a lot of money. The mule is, actually. Not me. Not me. Why don't you look at the camera and ask Taylor Lewan a question, and we'll play this for him on Monday. What would you like to ask him? Taylor, what's the percentage of the mule, and who's in first place, baby? I don't know what that means. It's some code. I hope it was appropriate, but oh, I know no, that. I know. Delaney, <laughs> Delaney, you're like the best guy on the total planet. We're going to take a break. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adam's content right on YouTube.